From a sold out Madison Square Garden, a classic Big East matchup tonight. It's number 13, Villanova and St. John's. And the standings updated with Seton Hall getting that road win, now alone in third in the Big East. With a half game separation over St. John's, but it is still the old guard at the top. Villanova trying to win a fifth conference title in the last six years for the floor. Uh, senior duo we talked about playing catch there. Now Colin Gillespie, who they'd love to get going, Jim. One for nine in the win against Providence on Wednesday. Yeah, he's been struggling on looks that they go to the middle of the floor. Good, smart play here. Mustafa Heron. Wow. Bono from L.J. Figueroa. He's a wild card for this team, Figueroa. Not a score. Dobbs Ferry, New York native. Bounces it underneath for Cosby Roundtree, who's been playing well lately for Villanova. And three from the top of the key area, free throw line. There you go. Go to the basket. The nice find to Simon from Figueroa. Yeah, I, three for ten from the three-point stripe. He's got to get up and back in the play, though. It's a hockey five-on-four right now. They'll take advantage of it. Primo promptly does. Yeah, they got it too smart. They picked up and in by Figueroa. Winds up in a second chance for Quinterly, who banks in a three. Not sure that was the design of that shot. I don't think on baseline. He got cut off. Good vision, it's Quinterly. This time it didn't need the backboard. And Villanova has opened it up 26 to nine. Yeah, sometimes it's a funny sport. You uh, Gillespie, nice work defensively. Last trip with the steal. What a find to Cosby Roundtree from Eric Pascal. We just got to continue to focus on the defensive end. Figueroa again. Let's see how like 10 steals. Here he is into the lane, lays it off for Simon. And Figaro just understands passing lanes. Probably the last minute and a half. Cremo, a clean look to respond as they so often do to shoot. Bay gets it off. In and out with two seconds. Simon will heave it. And hit it! Was that first North Dakota State yesterday, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah! <laughs> The half finishes with a bang and has St. John's, more importantly, within 11. That's why you want to shoot it. Some guys won't shoot it because it's going to hurt my field goal stats. Shots in the air. Bang. Talking about <laughs> Don't play so fast that you shoot your way out of it. There you go. Clark. Bay will try it. Into double figures. Sadiq Bay leading the way with 11. The matchup they wanted. Couldn't take advantage. Yep. Good board by Simon. Good Here's shot. Heron. Got it. Different ball game, Joe. On one shot. Stay under control if you're St. John's because you know this team is going to defend. Jamori Pons leaning, hitting, continuing the run for St. John's at 11 0. He's uncanny when he gets it going. Those couple of free throws has been hard. Lost the handle. Look up, you got one. Oh, they missed Figueroa. Find him now. He steps back and hits the three to bring St. John's back to within one. If he got him, right. Heron, clean look. Got it. This game is tied for the first time. It is just amazing how the body language of a team can change. 51 inside eight minutes. Booth working on Kada. Drops it off for Cosby Roundtree, who puts Villanova back up. Booth so crafty. Uh, St. John's, to your point of not having the depth. Good skip pass. Figueroa puts St. John's in front. Figueroa is on another level right now. As long as he continues to play under control without any wild shots, that's it. A yeah, bit of a grunt and grind run when you look at the scoreboard. Mismatch again. Booth able to get by this time and take advantage. Well, he was able to get action here. Figueroa has felt it today, and he continues to, putting St. John's back in front. Little design play by Chris Mullen just then. Run the weave, but it looks like you're almost like taking time. Trick in there, bag. And the ponds will toss it up. That's going to do it. What a turnaround. Had you said to start the day St. John's would get a win here, it wouldn't have been a shocker. Right. But when you consider how this game began, when you consider that St. John's trailed Villanova by 19 to turn it around and win by six, that becomes a shocker and a statement win for Chris Mullen and St. John's as they try to get back to the NCAA tournament.